Are you ready to create a habit of consistency in your workouts? Are you ready to give up diet culture and food shame for good? Are you tired of obsessing about your weight and thinking about food all day long? Do you want to lose weight, tone your body, and learn to rely on God in your health journey? Are you tired of comparing yourself to others on social media and just want to feel good in your skin? Are you tired of making excuses and feeling unmotivated? Thankfully, there's a basic formula to weight loss. It's the mindset shift and discipline habits we need help with. The enemy loves it when we're distracted, dieting, and using food as a crutch. He's been tempting women with food since Eve in the garden. It's time to reclaim our temples, eliminate diet culture, cultivate a habit of discipline, and learn to move ourselves as a way of worship. God has big plans for your life, and it'll be hard to walk in that purpose if you're constantly worried about your weight. It's time to reclaim your choices and let the Holy Spirit lead. Hey there, friend. I'm Lindy Slaybaugh, Christian fitness and nutrition coach, encourager, and friend. I gained 100 pounds in my late 20s and struggled for years to get it off. Seven years ago, I found a basic system that works and has helped me lose 90 of those pounds. I've been working with women in online fitness and nutrition ever since. We work to break chains of diet culture, embrace our bodies, and learn to fuel instead of diet. For years, I was chasing weight loss, and God kept calling me to give him my journey and trust his plan. He kept saying to me, obedience over outcome. Focus on me. Be obedient to my voice and release the weight goal. Changing habits can be hard on our own, but when we give them to God, he brings beauty from our ashes. I've lost 22 pounds in the last four months, learning to discern his voice. It's not too late for you to try again. In this podcast, I'll teach you how to lean into prayer over your health journey and truly give it to God. I'll show you how to cultivate a fruit of discipline that will help you find joy in exercise. And even plan your week and schedule your self-care time. I'll show you how to release food shame and disordered eating habits and set a daily routine that will make you feel empowered to keep moving forward even on the days you'd rather hit snooze. I'll help you learn how to discern the Holy Spirit and let God lead. And I'll show you how to lose weight eating a ton of food without giving up the things you love. I'm here to help you change your mindset about food and movement. I want to help you cultivate a spirit of self-discipline so you can step into the path God has for your life. It's time to give God your health journey and watch him make you new from the inside out. You've got this, sister. Now repeat after me. Obedience over outcome. Be sure to join my free community below where I run free monthly challenges, and I'll also send you a copy of my free faith-inspired habit and nutrition planner. Thank you so much for being here, and God bless. Well, I'm sitting in my car waiting to get my hair cut, and I just thought, hey, why not have a little chitty chat conversation with you guys about um, your fitness plans and how we align those with God. I just, I feel like sometimes we get on this kick where we want to reach a weight loss goal, or we have these ideas in our heads that we want to accomplish this or accomplish that, and we haven't gone to Him in prayer. And so many times I think that we don't really need to lose weight. We don't really need um, to lift a bunch of heavy weights. We need to refocus our habits. We need to align our plans with God. We need to find a nutrition program that's going to help us in the season of life that we're in. And instead of just saying, I want to lose five pounds this month or I went away 150 pounds. Why don't we get on our knees and ask God, okay, Lord, what is it in my life that I need to refocus? What is it in my life that I need to dig up seeds of trauma or frustration or body dysmorphia or disordered eating? And how can you work in my life to shed me of all of these things that are keeping me from living according to your plan and your will for my life? You know, I... I think that when we get an idea of a goal weight or a diet or, you know, a five pound weight loss through the month, it's really easy for it to become an idol because we, we focus so much on that one thing that we forget to go to God in prayer. I do this all the time. I'll, you know, and with my clients, I'll ask them at the beginning of the month, like, what's your goal for the month? And I need to remember to say, okay, what's your goal beyond a weight loss goal for the month? What is the thing that you want to take to God every morning and say, okay, Lord, yesterday I really flaked on my meal plan. I didn't get enough protein. I'm afraid to eat carbs. I have an inappropriate relationship with fat. Help me discern what is right and what I actually need in my body. And those are the kinds of goals that we really need to focus on setting. Because when we take our plans to him in Proverbs, we read that he's going to make it happen. 
He knows the will and desire of our heart. He knows that you don't want to live overweight. He knows that you hate to wave goodbye to someone in a tank top because your arm flab jiggles. He knows all of the frustrations and insecurities that you have about your body. He knew what your struggles were going to be before Genesis 1. And we think that he doesn't care or doesn't want us to bring these things to him. And he does. He cares so completely. I love Joyce Meyer. My grandma has listened to Joyce Meyer for probably my entire life. And I remember listening to one of her sermons a couple of years ago. And she was talking about she takes her hair to God. She asks God what she's going to wear each day. And, you know, when you think about him creating the world and everything in it in six days and then he rested on the seventh, for us to think that he doesn't care about these parts of our life is to vastly underestimate how much he loves us and he wants us to break up with diet culture he wants us to stop worrying about our bodies he wants us to come to him with every decision that we make and lean on him so that he can give us the guidance and direction that we need to reach the goal that he needs us to reach beyond weight loss maybe you do need to lose weight I know I needed to lose weight, but the, the actual thing I really needed was to learn about nutrition. I needed to stop worrying about what I was going to eat and start moving my body. I needed to start step one, two, three, four. You know, it wasn't actually weight loss I needed. I just needed to get out of my own way. And it's really hard sometimes to admit that we are our own worst enemy most of the time we are our own worst enemy and it comes down to are you willing to do the work it's going to take to become the person that you want to become the woman that you want to become in the body that you want to live in are you willing to do the hard work it's going to take and listen I'm going to give you some freedom right now if you're not ready that's okay that's okay if you're not ready to invest in a plan that's okay if you're not ready to hire a coach that's totally fine But you are ready to take one step in the right direction. You just have to figure out what that step is. And you take that to God. Okay, Lord, I am ready to do something. I'm not ready to go all in. I'm not ready to invest necessarily unless you tell me that I need to and you provide the funds. But what am I ready for, Lord? What would be one step that I can take today to move towards the goals that you want me to move towards? What could be the thing That is going to help me take one step towards you. Towards breaking the chains of diet culture. Towards having a snarky comment about so-and-so on social media who just posted her 50-pound weight loss goal when I'm still sitting here 50 pounds overweight. When we start to take our goals and our plans to him, he makes all things new. Proverbs 69 has been my favorite verse since I was 14. It says, in his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord directs his steps. And isn't that true? And we think that we can control and have this kind of power and that kind of power over our lives, our finances, our spouse, our husbands. But really, we don't have anything without him. And nothing in our life is going to be as good as it could be if we don't take it to him. You know, we read in, I think it's in Ephesians, that he wants to do more than we could ever ask or imagine and you have this idea of what you want in your life maybe it's building a business or reaching a weight loss goal or a relationship goal or a volunteer goal and you have this idea of how big it could be but God wants to do something even bigger he has massive purpose for your life and as women we are so focused on what we look like and how much we weigh that sometimes we never live up to what he has for us because we're too distracted and that is the enemy's scheme it is the thing that happens every time I have a new client join my paid boot camp something comes against her in life sickness for herself or a kid something financial struggle loss it happens every time because the enemy does not want you to give God your health journey. He does not want you to give get healthy. He does not want you to break the chains of diet culture and obsessing about your abs. He doesn't want you to. And we can let him win or we can lean in to scripture. We can open our Bibles every day and see what God's word says about our bodies. 
It says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that we were bought at a price. Jesus Christ suffered on a cross so that we could live forever with him. And he wants us to live happy and free. And when we can't love ourselves at the place that we're at, no amount of weight loss is ever going to be enough. We have to learn to look in the mirror at all of the parts of ourselves that we get frustrated with sometimes. And we have to say, I love you, body. Thank you for all that you do for me. Thank you for all of the ways that you push me, my hands and my feet and my eyes and my legs that carry me. We have so much to be thankful for. I always think of, I saw a post on social media years ago and it said, if you woke up today with only what you thanked God for yesterday, what would you have? Would you have your home or your vehicle? Would you have your hands and your feet and your senses? Would you have your legs? You know, we can look at our legs and the cellulite on our legs and we can say, oh, these legs are disgusting. Or we can say, thank you, legs, for carrying me where I need to go, for allowing me to pick up my niece or my toddler or my grandchild we have to stop taking for granted the gifts that we have every day and we have to start leaning into the promise that God made before the creation of the world that's pretty heavy stuff and it's not easy to dig up those seeds Psalm 139 23 and 24 says search me God and know my heart Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. And that is a hard prayer to pray. But if you are ready to take that one seemingly tiny step to reach a healthy, positive goal, pray that prayer. But be prepared that when he answers, you have to intentionally do the work to take the step forward. Because only you can do it. Nobody can do this for you. There is no quick fix. There is no magic pill. You need to move intentionally for 30 minutes a day, and you probably need to eat a heck of a lot more food than you're eating now. The average woman weighing 200 pounds who's not exercising to lose weight needs to eat a minimum of 2,000 calories in the right macro base count. That's not what we're taught. That's not... That's not what society tells us. We need to intermittent fast. We need to not eat carbs. And that's not true. If God put potatoes and rice and beans and all of these delicious carbohydrates on the planet, do you really think he didn't intend for us to eat them? We eat gluten-free that is loaded with starch that turns to sugar, that turns to fat. We eat soy products that are heavily um, laden in pesticides and horrible, horrible for you. Eat whole foods and have a treat every once in a while. I would like to encourage you to forget everything that you know about weight loss. I had a hysterectomy in 2020 and I have struggled with my hormones, but in the past couple of months, I have really figured out a way um, to eat that makes me feel energized, like my body's getting the nutrients that she needs. And so I really highly encourage you to hop in my free community. We'll be kicking off a free challenge here in a couple of weeks and I would love to help you align your goals with God. I have a free faith-inspired habit and nutrition planner that you can get access to at my link below. If you click my website, I will send you a link to the form or to the planner and a link to my free community. Hop in there. Let's hang out together. Let's dig up some of these seeds that are not always easy to confront, but we know that they are vital for us to move forward and get the enemy out of our way and sometimes get ourselves out of our own way. You have more power in you that Jesus had when he rose from the grave. We read that in the word. And very, very few of us are actually walking in that power. I know I'm not. But I want to. Do you want to? Are you willing to do the work it's going to be to take to become the woman that you want to become? I'm here to help you. I hope that this has been encouraging to you. Please be sure to join my free community at the link below. Take care and God bless. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to my podcast today. I hope this message has blessed you and I hope that you can walk away with some tangible steps to give God the first fruits of your day, to give him your health journey, your life, your body, and all of the things that come with it. Let us not grow weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap harvest if we do not give up. If you need a community of Christian women to support you in your journey, please join my free community by clicking the link below. You can also apply for my paid boot camp, also a link below. Do not go into this alone. Know that God wants to be a part of every part of your fitness and nutrition journey and that he will help you break chains of diet culture and live according to his word so that we can go out and make disciples as the Great Commission has called us to. Take care. Know that I am rooting for you and God bless.